Welcome to Electro Online. Here we're going to give you a little bit more detail about what the household wiring looks like inside your house. Now the world standard is the power provided in such a way that the voltage on the street and in many places the voltage lines run underneath the sidewalk and underneath the road and then come up instead of having them over overhead like they do in the United States. But typically there's about 11,000 volt standard delivery on the wires outside the house that then go to the transformer and there's a step down about 50 to 1 ratio down to about 220 volts that's typically in most places in the world in the united states there's a lot of different voltage standards for the wiring that comes to the house on the street and then finally it's transformed into a 240 volt three phase output that goes into the house Typically, the color combination is such that we have two hot wires, one that's colored black and one that's colored red. And then there's a third wire. This is called a white wire, which is the neutral wire. When it goes into your house, notice that the hookup on the appliances, if they need 120 volts, is from the one hot wire to the neutral, from black to white, or from red to white, depending upon how you want to connect it. So we have a lot of different lines running through, running through the house that can have any one of these connections. If you want a 240, if you have a 240 volt appliance that you want to connect to the uh, to the to the um, the wiring, then typically what we do is we connect the hot wire on one side and the hot wire on the other side, which has a total differential of 240 volts. Of course, in all cases, every appliance is grounded, so there'll be a grounding wire to the 240, to 240 volt appliance as well. And typically, the neutral wire is then connected somehow to ground, and there's different places typically in the house where you have ground connections as well to make sure that there's a safety mechanism. What the ground does for us is for some reason there's a short and a lot of current runs through. The current can then escape in a way and make it safe. So instead of going to the person, it can be pulled into the ground. And so less people, there's less chance of electrocution. So that's your basic standard wiring diagram, not exactly the way it's wired. And on the next video, we'll show you a little bit more detail as well in how the wiring is connected to ground as well as the two hot wires. And that is how it's done.